Alright everyone, we're actually going to be starting a little bit early today. Usually I don't start until 6 my time, but we're going to be starting at 5. Countdown's going to be a little under time. Because we're actually going to be starting at 5 instead of the normal 6. And I started the tech countdown at 46 after instead of 45 after. Um, so, my name's Keldrick. Uh, the vet's probably already talked to you a lot about it. A lot about me, I should say. And um, tonight we're going to be starting my first stream because I finally got my computer fixed up and everything. Um, tonight we're going to be playing Sea of Stars. So, yeah. Been looking forward to getting this game going and streaming and set it up and everything like that. So, yeah. Get ourselves prepared for all of this and ready to go. Maybe starting ourselves up as elemental warriors. You can probably hear the music in the background, but I'm not sure I have to set up the property. I switch over to the starting stream. Also, if you hear a bit of a light breeze in the background, that's in fair condition. And apologies, it gets kind of hot in our apartment. The building was built back in 1911, so brick and you know mortar on hot summer days don't really mix well. Um, also, for anyone who's asking, or might be asking, uh, I'm using a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller plugged into the computer to play, just in case someone wanted to know. <sighs> Getting people to banter, or bantering before a stream for 15 minutes is always so weird, you never know what to say. Hope everyone's having a great Sunday. Glad that I was finally able to get an actually working gaming PC. Because the last gaming PC I had was actually a laptop. And what ended up happening is that it got caught underneath one of the legs of my bed and cracked the LCD screen on it. And so I was having to use that as a secondary where I had to plug the secondary monitor into that to get it to even work. It was a whole long story and it just wasn't working right. Plus, it toted itself as a gaming laptop, but it wasn't actually a decent gaming laptop. So, yeah, it was not great. And it just it did not play games well at all. So, yeah. That's, that's fun. Um, yeah, other than that, we're starting our journey off into the wonderful world of streaming and hopefully making this work. Again, I don't know if you can hear the starting music, but I can, so I'm just... been really looking forward to this game. I've been following, or I've been following the Kickstarter forever. You know, I followed all the progress updates, everything that came out for it, and honestly, it's been one of those games that I've just been really looking forward to this entire time, that it's been, you know, on its way to come out, and so I, when it finally did come out, you know, I was really, 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 really happy, and, you know, so... Now that I get to stream it, really looking forward to it. So 
silence. Sorry, getting something last minute set up here. Five minutes, folks. Ooh, that chair.
dormant toots. I should look better for chat. Can you hear me now, Bill Bet? Does audio sound good? Trying to make sure audio sounds good. Yeah, the music's super low because I want to be able to make sure, you know, people hear me as well. I mean, I can turn the audio up once the game starts. As for the audio, I can fix that once we switch over. Fix that once I get things taken care of. Unless, of course, this was the issue the entire time. Because I tried to switch it to a different microphone and hopefully. Okay, so... Alright, so we're going to switch to here, and we're going to change a couple things here real quick. Alright, we're going to set up the game. How about now? Can you hear me a little bit better now? Okay, what about the music? 
Music's still too loud, still too low. Okay, well, with the music, then I can turn it up just a little skosh by, like, a notch or two in the, uh, settings when I actually get into the game. So, as long as you can hear me... set up on the Sea of Stars. Oh, there we go. Keep that turned down. Sea of Stars has two main characters. Select the one who will lead the party. This can be changed later, or does not, f and does not affect the story. Well, let's see. Blade Dancer, born of the summer solstice, walks the path of the golden god Solid. Or a monk born on the winter solstice, walks the path of the guardian goddess Luana. You know, I'm gonna go Zale. Just because I'm a big sword person. The Great Archives. Welcome to the Great Archives, adventurer. I suppose curiosity has brought you here. An important trait to be sure. I am the alchemist, an immortal first in the ways of alchemy. Also, yes, we own three swords, get over it. I also own three lightsabers. But perhaps you knew that already. After spending millennia cataloging the many events of countless timelines, I decided to return here to mull over everything I had seen. In my musings about the stories that fill these books and scrolls, I had a recent epiphany. It seems that in my haste, I may have overlooked that very thing I was hoping to find. Alright, I'll fix that once I can move over to audio again. Because it's a cutscene, so I can't do anything yet. As such, there is one special story I wish to revisit. One deserving of a witness. And should the mists of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may yet bloom. Hmm. So walk with me tonight and we will explore a tale of high adventure. Of magic and deceit. Of friendship and wonder. But mostly... A tale of heroism. One that I believe will offer valuable insight into the search for a resolution to the, to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Always sounds so disgusting. Now I remain a bit lost amidst all these timelines and all their subtle variations. But I know just the one to make for a perfect starting point. 
Let us see what we find in there. Ah, yes. Our story begins in a world visited by the Fleshmancer, generations prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that is yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere on Evermist Island, two brave children of the Solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to become fully-fledged Solstice Warriors, they will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. Ow! Crap! Paper cut. All right, we made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. So the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? Do you think it's just another test? Could be, but it sure beats sitting at the academy. And sewing. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure glad that's over with. Apply yourselves for the will you will weave into into shall be your soul. Defense in times of greatest need. While the lessons taught here may be, appear to be lost in you, something deep inside is compelled to learn. <laughs> hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to set up camp. Let's split up and search for a good spot. Time for some scouting. I'm coming through! Gaves wasn't kidding. They feel these feel easier to fight already. Let's see where this leads. Oh, I have to fight you. Haha. -ha. Ouch. Tough one, huh? Let's try this. Sunball. Oh, it's called a rochette. Boom! Say, I found anything? Just a dead end, how about you? Nothing to know, but the way to the top is definitely through here. The sun is setting, come over, I'll get a fire going. I'll be right there, can't wait for more tomato clubs. Press 8 to unroll the wrap rope ladders. Yeah. Oh, it's a bird! Aw, bird flew away. Rope bridges... I never like rope bridges. Cave. Hup. Hup. Oop! That was scary. Ugh! 
please don't any of that crap hit me. The fuck are you? Ah! Ow, try to block that. See, and that's why I don't like caves. Chevs again. Hey, Valerie. Oh, wow, look at that shadow detail behind Zale. Huh. But it doesn't beat the face you made the first time you tried smashing a sunball. Huh. Oh, I can still hear Headmaster gloating. As I said, whether by paying attention in class or by recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. To be fair, you, you did learn. Oh, yeah. That one and only took once. You ever miss those years? You know, before training, just being kids, always daydreaming, getting in trouble? And making mistakes. Mm. I'm sorry, Valerie. I didn't mean... It's okay. I understand why he wouldn't want to join us after what happened. It's just... I wish he had said goodbye, you know? After ten years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's alright? And that we're still friends? Why did he have to get ahead of ourselves anyway? Oh, girl. Ten years ago in the village of Moon Cradle. <gasps> They're so adorable, they're kiddos. My weapon will be something that hits really hard. And I'll pick a fast one. We'll be unstoppable. Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we leave Evermist Island. I want to see the sleeper. What's that? Huh? You've never heard of the sleeper? The story says it's a giant serpent and it's been sleeping curled up around the mountain since even before there were traveling historians to record it. No way! Sure is, and it's super dangerous too. Don't worry, it can't wake up. Why not? Apparently, there's holes in the mountain, and the wind blows through them, and that plays a melody that keeps it asleep. Oh, that's actually a really cool design for a mountain. Whoa! I want to see it too. Oh. It's the bell. Berlina and Brewgraves are back. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. Run! Hey there, younglings. Are you still playing in that little cave down below? No? These crops are a main source of food. It's hard work, but I am reminded every day when we all eat together that the effort is well worth it. If I am, it is. The music in this game is wonderful. Huh. 
pumpkin. Okay, so that's not the way to go. Okay, is it just the No, that is a blue pumpkin. Okay. Blue pumpkins are a thing in this world. Nope. Oh. Hey, wait. Oh, we got animated cutscenes. Holy shit. There you are. Playing in your secret hideout again. We were training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. Oh, shit. Whoa. Come closer, Sale. Open your palm and concentrate. What about you, Valerie? Have you been training too? Oh, okay, so... The girl with the horns is the fire user. And Brewgraves... Can't remember her name, even though it's just on screen. She's the fire user. Brewgraves is the moon user. Oh, okay. Every day. I bet I'm stronger than you now. <laughs> sure you are. Come here, then. Yeah, yeah. Oh, easy now. I can't report to the headmaster if you knock me out. Oh. <clears throat> that was awesome, Zale. Valier? I mean, it could be Valier, but... I've also seen Valerie spelled that way, too. For Lena, that's her. Solstice Warriors! Oh, crap, we're in trouble. If you are done with your babysitting duties, I would hear your report. Right away, Headmaster. We go too? Believe me, once you enter Zenith Academy, you'll wish you had it. Mm. Let's go, Brewgraves. I know the headmaster is a dick, but he's like every other headmaster in a JRPG. It's like he's gotta be the dick character. Hey, the full moon's out! Want to go to the Forbidden Cavern again? Okay, girl, there's a reason it's called the Forbidden Cavern, and I think there's a reason why. We tried already. I can't open it. Yeah, but last time we decided maybe the full moon could make the room more sensitive. I'm sure it'll work, and Moran will be so impressed he'll take you two in for training right away, and then we'll finally be allowed to leave this island. No, no, you're gonna go and do something stupid and get yourself hurt. What if he gets mad and delays our training instead? That's a possibility too. Nah, no way. Well, we can worry about that after I open it. So you're gonna go through with it. I mean, if I open it. Yeah, you shouldn't. Moon cradle. I'm guessing it's this way. Yeah, but like, asking forgiveness better than permission. When it comes into worlds with magic and everything like that, <laughs> oh, this is bringing back so many Chrono Trigger vibes. Oh. Yep, Forbidden Camera. I should mention I played a little bit of this before streaming because I was really happy to start streaming it. Children of the Solstice.
We made it. Time to stop for a snack. We walked, what, 10, 20 feet? What? I'm not hungry. Yeah, we just left. See? Yeah. Villiers. She's right. Just a few minutes ago. Look, it's not a real adventure if you don't eat a snack on the. Uh, okay, girl's got a point. Yeah, preteen boys will eat out you out of house and home. Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Well, we know who the cook of the party is. Here. That's a sandwich. <laughs> you were about to say, well, we guess who the cook is? Wow, that's really good. Yeah, no kidding. Glad you like it. It's the jam I used. A bit of sap from the celestial will. Are you sure that's not poisonous? Did you just poison us? You could get in trouble for that. Only if you tell. <laughs> Alright, how do I do this? If you don't know how to do it, why'd you... Hmm. Try opening your palm and concentrating. You got this, Velier. Oh crap. Oh crap, it worked. I knew it. It worked. I did it. Yeah. I finally did it! Yeah, and do you think that bell might have summoned, oh, I don't know, the entire town? So... What now? You go home. You, you prove to yourself you could open it. You go home. The headmaster must have... Yeah! I think the whole town did. No, you go home. No, girl. Oh my god. To quote John Tron, three kids gonna die tonight. This is exciting. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, Belbet, for our little botany lesson there. Ladies and gentlemen, my wife with the botany lesson randomly in chat. Glowing mushrooms. These monsters, there's monsters over there. Let's hide. You shouldn't have come here in the first place. Evermiss Island was safe. Clearly not, girl. Guess that's only true for Moon Cradle. We should go back. They look dangerous. Yeah, nowhere safe. Yeah, good call. Ha! Watch out, there's another one. This is bad. We're surrounded. Maybe try to use your powers? We're not ready for this! Yeah! I I don't know, just try! Okay, let me focus. Watch out, it's preparing something! Huh? Come on, come on! Zale, watch out! Oh! Oh! Crap! Uh, girl? Girl, but are you good? No, girl! My eye! Yeah, no, no, but I think, I think the... Yeah, no, I think the kid just lost an eye. I can't see. There's no escape. It's about to attack again. How much you want to bet it's the headmaster? 
So it was you. As resourceful as you are reckless, I see. Headmaster, Garl needs help. It feels better. Yeah, but you're not going to be using that eye much anytime soon. Like anyone born in Moon Cradle, a regular kid, what Garl needs is to not concern himself with the affairs of the Solstice Warriors. I'm really sorry, Headmaster. It was all my idea. Hey, 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 hey. No, it was all of our idea. Be thankful that the only cost of this lesson was an eye, young lad. As for the two of you, if you're so eager to receive training, I shall oblige. Mission failed successfully? Follow me. I guess mission failed successfully? Make sure to treat the wound and soothe the poor kid. He's not the complaining type, but if the pain seems to return, please send for me. Understood, Headmaster. You will not see your friend for a very long time. If you have any parting words, speak them now. I... Maybe Headmaster isn't such a... Yeah, at least he took care of the kid and didn't, like, you know, shove him to the side and be like, Well, you're on your own, kid! Can't he come stay with us? How long is very long? Like, a week? Um, if the callback from earlier said ten years... Yeah, no, not a week, girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, the eagerness of youth. It takes years to properly train Solstice with me. Years? No way. But your friends have much to learn. I would suggest you use that time to reflect upon what happened today. Uh, I lost an eye, dude. Like, not gonna be hard to reflect on that. If any luck, it will help you forget any ideas of getting involved with the burden that is not yours to me. Hey! He tried. Right, Belbet? Guys, don't forget about me. Ah, uh, we can't, girl. <laughs> Taking you back that he's not a dick? Yeah. Never. We'll train really hard. Maybe it won't take so long. Again, the ten-year flashback thing says otherwise. Boy, I hope this school has, like, a anti-falling-off magic thing, because that would be bad. Welcome to Zenith Academy. In this ancient place of knowledge, you will learn everything you need to know in order to become true Solstice Warriors. We've been waiting for this for so long. When do we start? Wow, you moved on from your friend there pretty quick, guys! Tomorrow. Though I believe a proper introduction is in order. Careful now. No, no, Belt Bet, it doesn't have an active shooter drill. It's not here in the US. Wow, I just realized how dark that was. Welcome to the classroom in the sky. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm feeling a weird resonance, like when I open the Forbidden Cavern. Good on you for noticing that. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with their innate magic. It shows great promise that you were able to feel it before, and Zale too, from 
what Alina told me. Oh, it was just a small burst. Hmm. They have no idea how much potential they have. It's probably for the best. Now, in the many years you will spend at Zenith Academy, you will learn about the duties incumbent upon the Solstice Oracles. Of the magic you are destined to wield, and the evils it is meant to cleanse. We'll learn how to fight too, right? Naturally. You will spend your days training and studying, but most importantly, sewing. Sewing? That sounds boring. Oh, I can assure you that it is. A mandatory task, nonetheless. All who would join our order begin by weaving their will into an enchanted piece of fabric, the staple of the Solstice Warrior. It is there the most prized possession, guaranteeing light in the darkest places, and a measure of protection against the minions of... The Fleshmancer. But first, you must learn of your duties. Train until you cannot feel your limbs, and then train some more. Right? The Flash Mantis sounds like a really terrible name for a bad guy. <laughs> a really bored necromancer, Belbat. A really bored necromancer. Once you both are mu bo yeah. Once both your body and mind are ripe with potential, you will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. Yeah! Necromancer study magic and then. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. Did you did you think that they were going to be te being taught how to, like, sew together flesh? then be sent out beyond the Forbidden Cavern to meet with the Elder Mist, for it alone may officially grant the title of Solstice Warrior. Oh, okay. Sewing. So, I understand it's not what you were hoping for, but it is what is required of you for the same for the time being. Years of sewing. Hey, practice makes perfect. That'll be all for today. You're spending a lot of time in these halls. You should make yourselves at home. To your left is the training room. You are to go there in the first thing in the morning. Just above is the way to my chambers. It is off limits, of course. And to your right are the dormitories. Just make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. Feel free to look around, then go to sleep when you're ready. Good night. So instead of separating the dormitories between male and female, it's sun and moon. Okay. This is the training area. Clearly not. Oh, there you are. Marine finally decided that you were ready. I guess. Maybe Headmaster Marine isn't worried about teenage pregnancy because they're like, Oh, they'll be so focused on sewing, they won't have time for that. I remember when Arlena and Brugraves were your age. They wouldn't stop running. Oh, I feel old now. Sewing basics. Mm. Oh, that's it? Not gonna say anything? Right?
Like I said when I was prepared for this game, or when I was prepared for the stream, I had been following this game for like literal months in the Kickstarter, and it just, oh, it looked so beautiful. So, oh, that's the moon side. This is the sun side. So I'm guessing what they mean by like your assigned solstice power is not whether or not you're, you know, sun or moon. It's if you're choosing to play Zale, you get to sleep on Zale's side. If you choose Valir, it's on Valir's side. But it's weird that this side is the sun, but on this side of the room is moon, but on the moon side it's the- Oh my god, my OCD is kicking in. Just go to bed. <sighs> Sleep? Yes. The next morning, in the training room. Good morning, fellas. Brew Graves! Gaves, Brew Gaves. Brugavis? So you'll be our trainer? I wish. Erlina and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for training? You bet. That's what I'd like to hear. I reckon these should be well suited for the two of you. Zale, receive the training sword. I'll receive the training staff. Or, clear. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's get to work. You got this, Valir. Don't give up now. Never! Whoa, she started booking it. Oh, climbing exercises. Come on, Zale, keep up. I... I can do this. Oh, God, push-ups. 99, 100. That's it for today. You did great. That was a lot. Feel free to take a break. Erlina will see you on the terrace whenever you're ready. <laughs> Where's the terrace? Is it out front? Because that's the training room. That's the headmaster's thing. That's the sleeping quarter. So yeah, it's got to be here. Oh, there you are. Ready to learn magic? You should feel as if something was scratching an itch from far, far away from you. You must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. Uh, I'm sorry, but if it's an itch, I don't want it to come closer. I think it's working. Hey, you startled me. I almost had it. Now mine's gone too. It's okay, just breathe slowly. Try to release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. If your timing is true, it will manifest on three. One, two, Three! I think I felt it. Really, it looked like it fizzled out. It tickles. I thought it itched. I'm sure your training will go well. One more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that is that this is your life and Erlina! Since you are done onboarding our new recruits in the ways of magic, I will provide the briefing for your next assignment. Dick! As for the two of you, it's about time you tried that sewing kit! Right, kids? Because that's what all the kids love, sewing! 
Too long now. Uh, that is not sewing, that is looming. Like Bill Pett, am I not wrong that that's not sewing, that's weaving. Sorry, weaving. Making a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. Sure is a tall order. Yeah, I have no idea what shape to even make. At least the headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. Well, I'm bored. Yep, that's me, Zale. <laughs> God. What are you doing? I'm just gonna walk around for a bit. I'm bored. <laughs> right, out of all the magic that they could use, the fact that at the age of... I'm gonna say, like, maybe... Seven, eight-ish? They know how to use looms without... Any issue? Yeah. Just a bunch of old books. Just a bunch of old books. Just a bunch of old books. Okay, Jesus. Sorry, our roommate is texting us. I know I just saved, but, you know. With RPGs, it's better safe than sorry to double save. I keep saying that, but the Fleshmancer left our realm for good when the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? Uh-oh. And you know the three of us can take the one on Wraith Island. We don't need them. Prudence, Alina. There is no telling what threats we may face in the future. Zael and Valia were brought to the moon cradle, or brought to moon cradle by the Great Eagle. Oh, I see how it is. So the Great Eagle could take two children to a place, but they can't take a ring to the frickin' mountain in Lord of the Rings. See how it is. It's not the place of the headmaster to question such things, and neither is it yours. So, how much is enough? What about Moyara? What about the twins? Brewgraves! Do not judge a sacrifice. You cannot begin to comprehend. Oh, I see how it is. So because I have not actually played this game all the way through, I'm gonna take a shot in the dark because it is based off of classic JRPGs that sometime in the future of this game we are gonna have to freaking fight Headmaster Moraine because he's gonna get corrupted. I am calling it now. This conversation is over. We will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse, after their training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Uh, dude, last time someone wanted a cleansing wasn't that great. Learn as much as you can until then. But... Let's just go, Brewgraves. So they trained, and they sewed for days, and then for months. Faster now. Also, it doesn't look like Zale's doing push-ups. It looks like he's attempting the worm, but not moving. Focus, and then release. A 
Now, the longer a dweller is left to its devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. Let one grow for too long, and you have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of solstice warriors would be helpless. Such delaying only increases the chances of a world eater. Cleansings always target the strongest dweller known to us. Headmaster, if dwellers are immune to our magic, how can we fight them? Ha! That is why cleansings are always performed during a total eclipse. In these moments, only the dwellers' weaknesses are exposed. Oh, in these moments, only the dwellers' weaknesses are exposed. So, the dwellers are kind of like waterbenders from Avatar The Last Airbender. During the full moon, their powers are heightened. During a new moon, they're weakened. Okay. How many dwellers are left? Just the one known as the Dweller of Woe, but we cannot be for sure. Thank you, Bilbet. Mmm, food. We cannot know for sure. The Fleshmancer just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus, we must always remain vigilant. Headmaster? Yes, Sale? What happened with the Dweller of Strife? And who's Moyara? Hmm. How the fuck did he know about them? That will be all for today. A few weeks later, a sound in the night. The hell was that sound? Sail, wake up! Hmm? Familiar? What is it? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? Who cares? Let's go check it out. Alright. <laughs> right, Velvet? Answer the fucking question. Sail and Valir. <gasps> Carl! If you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. I'm writing this as a failsafe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with the celestial willow jam you liked. Aww. Keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops. Now the platform is almost up, and I can see Moraine is there waiting for me. He looks very angry. I'll try to drop the jar without him noticing. I guess that means I won't be able to try a visit again, but I'm thinking of you every day and can't wait. I hope you like the cookies. Your friend until the end of time. Carl. Aww. Carl's the best. Let's go up on the disc to eat the cookies. Got a cookie jar! These cookies are amazing. Of course they're amazing. Garl made them. I can't believe Garl was just there. I miss him so much. Me too, Valier. He seems well at least, after what happened in the Forbidden Cave. Knowing him, I bet he smiled it away the next day. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. I can't let something like this ever happen again. At this rate, it feels like we'll never sow something good enough for the Elder Mist. It will happen, we just have to keep training hard. <laughs> yeah, she is a little too serious. So they trained, and they sewed for years. Oh, first it was months, now it was years. And they trained, and they sewed some more. Until one day, 
when the Fire Nation attacks. Oh, wait. Wrong series. Sail! That's the one! Whoa! Right? I can feel it too. Hold on. Jesus. Alright, I think I got it too. Let's go see the headmaster. Oh, that's the little scarves around their waists. Okay. They look like they have tails. Well, if they did make enough to make a freaking tent, they they don't have to worry about, you know, camping, because they'll have a tent. And it was handmade. Sup, old fart. Headmaster, we think we're ready. Why, yes, the tingling of magic in the air has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations, moving forward, there will be no more sewing. Oh, thank God. I can deal with that. It will soon be time for you to leave on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. But before we get to that, Zenith Academy has one more challenge for- God damn it. Oh, our visitors just arrived. Perfect timing. Girl? Is it girl? Oh, Hi, guys. My, you've both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Alina and Brugabes are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them, then it will be time for your final test. Also, yeah, no, just this game... This game all over the place, Belbet, is just... Oh, this game is beautiful. Want to review combat basics? Yeah. but they can only act once per round. All of your party members are on cooldown, the round resets, and they become available again. Turn-based RPG. Good. Focus is paramount whenever you perform attacks and skills. With proper timing, you can increase the damage that you deal and sometimes even score additional hits. Let's see it. Press A at the hit. Let's hit connects to increase damage. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Good, let's see that one more time. Ouch, yeah, that's the gist of it. Most of your attacks and spells can be made more potent with proper timing. Some also keep going with more hits until you miss. Also remember to think of timed hits as a welcome addition. And pull it off rather than something you're supposed to do perfectly all the time. So don't worry about it too much. Just keep on trying, and your sense for it will develop over time. Okay, now for timing your blocks. Let's get the little guy in here. Whoa! Okay. Reduce the damage of any incoming attack or spell by blocking it. Get ready. Connects to reduce damage. Ah. Nope. There's two soon. Stay focused and press as the hit connects. Ha! Good. Let's see that one more time. Ah! Ah! That's how you do it. Remember to always stay alert. Some patterns will be harder to read than others, sometimes even requiring multiple blocks. Don't be too hard on yourself. No one is expected to block everything all the time. It's not about getting it perfectly all the time, but rather building a growing sense for it. Just think of a timed block as a welcome bonus whenever you happen to pull it off. Keys to remember to read your enemies and to keep trying. Oh, one more thing. What the? 
party member gets knocked out in battle, you will need to switch to a more defensive mode. KO'd allies will get back up on their own at 50 HP once all the KO stars are gone. One KO star is removed at the end of each round. The more you fall during the same battle, the more KO stars there are, so be careful. Yeah, I think they did just make, knock out a kid to make a point. Fight and survive until Veller returns. Good work today. I'm sure the exam will be a breeze. You say that. Just a minute, I'm eating. Bill Bet was cooking dinner while I was gaming. Making sense, your MP is a bit low, right? To keep up the pace of Bell, you must remember to regenerate MP. Let's build it back up. Hit me with a normal attack. Do you feel that? You just got some MP back by attacking. Sudden rain for a second? What do you mean, sudden rain for a second? You mean Valir's Moonring attack? Or Lena's? Okay. Actions and find the rhythm appropriate for each battle. One last thing. All battle actions lock breaking especially. Build your combo energy. If you have enough, you can spend combo points to perform powerful actions. Yeah, that's how combos work in these games. Rain told me you came up with your first combo attack. Show it to me. Solstice Strike. Yeah, you're strong, all right. Keep an eye out in your adventures. You're bound to come across scrolls that will teach you more combos. Good luck with the exam. I'm sure you'll do great. Rain will see you to the final test. I'm sure you'll do great. Okay, is it just me or does it look like there's a weird forehead cat in the carpet right below Zale? I 
Are you ready for the final test? We're ready. Let us begin. Beat the shit out of your predecessors. Over the years, Zenith the test Academy has tested you in many ways. We will now test you one last time. Have you prepared your vow? Whoa, 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 whoa. Thought this was a battle, not a marriage. Speak them now. You go first, Sam. Um, okay. <clears throat> so that I may use my agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions, I will enter the world as a blade dancer. Fuck, I need this boy for the rest of his life while pretending I dislike you for so long. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell about that? Welcome, Blade Dancer. Come on, Valir. I did it. Now it's your turn. So that I may use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I will become a battle monk. I choose the staff for it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Welcome, battle monk. Today you must demonstrate mastery of everything Zenith Academy has taught you. Your final challenge awaits you below. Please step aside. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something to keep your health full. Oh, tomato club sandwiches. Now, with faith in your abilities and purpose in your actions, take the leap. Whoa, wait, wait, wait! Ready, Zeal. Let's just go for it. Alright! Oh, okay. There's there's some water there. Okay. Oh, that was close. No clue. Give it up, my cookie jar, free girl. Found one ornate stone. Oh yeah, button for jump there for a second. That you were saying that I missed something, and I'm like, what the hell did I miss? Oh. 
any type of walking. Another running stone. And it... One shot. Depends on whether or not, you know, Headmaster Moraine will let you talk to them and tell them the truth. Oh, fun. Exam mode engaged. Brace yourselves, bitches. Slap. Sound design for this game reminds me so much of uh, Hollow Knight. Like, whoever they got to do the, you know, sound design for this is phenomenal. Congratulations, you have been trained well. Return now to your headmaster. Zenith Academy had to teach. Ha! Huh. We did it! In record time, too. We must now learn of our ultimate power, the ability to use magic without using magic. Okay. It meets your zail. Knowledge is for the Elder Mist to impart. Come, the villagers have gathered to celebrate your departure. Hey, we get to see Garl again! Yay! On special days such as this one, that the citizens of Moon Cradle are reminded of the importance of their duties. Where's Carl? Yeah, Carl is missing. I don't 
don't see it. Oh, the sun tree? near the lava tree looking thing? Yeah. Many years ago, Zalen and Valia were delivered to us by the Great Eagle. Deliveries on two solstices and a world of boot. Very rare occurrence. Oh, I remember. Grim was so happy to get the, get to meet two more before she passed. I miss Grim. All of you have come together to nurture and protect them, just like your ancestors have done. With so many children of the solstice before. Zell and Halim, step forward so that the good people of Moondreadle might gaze upon those who will soon join the ranks of solstice before. Oh, let the villagers have their fun, it's all they can. So you're okay with this now? You know I'm not. Now, cheer with me as we send these young heroes out across the Forbidden Cavern to meet the Elder Mist. Hooray! To the gate! What do we do? I want to see Girl before leaving. We have to play alone for now. Fingers crossed that we come back after meeting this Elder Mist. Fingers and toes. Zale, Valerie, you must undertake this journey on our own now. We will not fail, Hel Headmaster. Go now, through the Forbidden Cavern, and atop the mountain trail to seek audience with the Elder Mist. Learn how to use magic without using magic, and you shall enter the world as true sources of warriors. May Luana's might protect you. May Solon's light guide you. Yeah, this should keep you fed for a little bit. Let me guess, tomato clubs? Yep! Called it! More tomato clubs. Storytelling and sequel flutter. You just received your first two relics. Find them in the relic section of the game menu. Accessible with Y. To adjust your experience. Whether you prefer a lighter challenge or looking to push yourself to the max, relics offer a range of options. There's bound to be more to find. Remember to keep an eye out for merchants selling any valuables you find. We'll keep you well fed and well equipped. Now, wherever adventures take you, you must remember your first assignment. After the Elder Mist sends you on to the world, you must secure passage to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. And do keep on training for a dire cleansing awaits us. So I can't believe you want them fighting a dweller already. That's worrying for you. We weren't much older the first time. Yeah, but we'll find a way. Save journeys, and may you cleanse this world. May you cleanse it. Whoa, that's a little cultish sounding. That's that's culty. <laughs> yeah, a little. <laughs> also, who knows? Maybe it's not the only recipe they know. Maybe it's the whole thing that that's the only you know produce they have besides blue pumpkins. can open it too. Sure feels easier now. This time we make it through. Oh, for a second there. I didn't know I had to move. I thought it was still cutscene. These fuckers in here.
Oops, it looks like there was a cave back there. Then... Oh yeah, what are the relics do? Um, max HP plus 100% and I don't feel that for combat. Successfully timing hits and blocks causes a star flare to fly out of the character for a clear as day cover. Oh, yes, I would like that. Honestly, I'm more for story than adventure, so we're gonna do storytelling one. I was the bet you were talking about how beautiful this game looks. Just look at here. Just this little cavern area. Whee! Oh, wait. Is... Oh! Hey! Mushroom soup! Something besides tomato club sandwiches. Yay! Of course. 
little bit? broken. You can't activate the bridge. There seems to be a detour over there, to the left. It's worth a shot. Same here. Ew! Oh god, ew! Whoa! 
Whoa! That was a cool animation. Bombs. Why? Why more of the Big one. Ah, yeah, we did it. Looks like there's a way out over there. The mountain shouldn't be further now. Uh, I'm sorry, but I played enough chair. Called it! There was treasure in the back. Always go check the rooms behind the bosses. No, Belbet, there's no bug meat. Yeah, that's Sturdy Valley. I know the graphics look the same, but it's not the same game. Whoa! Things are starting to move. I am eager to see what these two can do. Eager and impatient, too. I'm here for the cult stuff. For now, we wait. Three, you know what to do. Yeah, I know what to do. Three, we told you. Use your spooky voice. You all know that sh that stuff's dumb, right? What's this? Sun Glow Lake. Some Marvel World. Yeah. Oh, hey there. Were you looking for anything in particular? It's a f fishing. You caught a meta war. Release or turn it into two fillets. We're gonna turn it into two fillets. Oh yes, fishing mini games suck. Oops. Oops. Happy. 
Nah, I'm good. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Our life lesson is do not hold mana wars. They hurt. What's this? Solstice Shrine. What's the Solstice Shrine? Well, it's a safe spot. Safe spot, I know that much. It's locked. We're the Solstice Warriors. It shouldn't be locked. And now we're caught up to where we were. Well, it's here somewhere, huh? Yep. Back to where we started. I really hope we'll get a chance to return to Moon Cradle after this. What if we're sent out into the world right away? Yeah, I don't know. I just wish Garl was here. We could certainly use some Celestial Willow Jam to go with this awful bread. <laughs> the dream. Hmm? Celestial Willow Jam? Garl! I've got some right here, guys! I need to pick some mushrooms. You won't pull Leave this soup on me. Oh, I found some herbs in the Forbidden Cavern. That'll do just right. Carl! What? You didn't really think I was going to let you go on an adventure without me, did you? Carl! Aww. So good to see you two again. Carl, my man, you are rocking that scar. You look so strong now. Hey, why didn't you show up for our departure? Are you kidding? There was absolutely no announcement. As soon as I heard everyone gather, I went to their hideout to pack my stuff. And you left so fast. Guys, I'm so pumped for this journey. I know all about survival now. Fishing and gathering and cooking and... What's wrong? You can't actually come with us. I just wanted to say goodbye. We're on duty now, and it's pretty dangerous. You can't mean that. We've always talked about how we'd all leave together after your training. Plus, I spent all those years practicing in our little cave. I'm ready. Look, I may not have any special powers like you do, but I'm built strong, and I've been preparing. This here is my shield. I'll be a defensive fighter. No, a warrior cook! Oh my god. Oh yeah? Sure am. And I've been reading a lot, too. See, most of the monsters you're going to face won't even be a fleshman's or minions, which means anyone can fight them. Are you sure about that? Totally. You haven't seen any yet, have you? I'll know when to step aside. Don't worry. Plus, you can re can't really travel the world with just a few sandwiches. What were you thinking? That's... I mean, yeah. See? You need me. You just do your solstice for your duties, and I'll keep your bellies full. Carl. Deal? Okay, deal. Oh, I'm so happy. This is awesome. <laughs> Alright, I'll start the kettle. We have so much catching up to do. Girl, the warrior cook joins the party! Also, and so apparently after we met this elder mist, we'll be able to use magic without using magic. We sit out into the world. That's all we've been told. I guess fun in our own way is the final step of training. 
first assignment is to get to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. Whoa, that's a lot. Their power sounds so cool, though. Can't wait to see them in action. So how about you, girl? Oh, it was pretty uneventful, to be honest. All I did was train and learn the skills I thought would come in handy. Every single day, I was hoping to see you come out. I'm sure glad no one told me it would take ten years. Yeah, we missed you too. It's not fair that we were together and you had to do this on your own. Well, we're all together now, so it doesn't matter anymore. And I can't wait to explore the world. I want to taste everything. Hey, this soup is unreal, by the way. Right? Uh-huh. So, how much food did you pack? Just enough for a few meals. It's better to travel light. And there's ingredients everywhere if you know how to look. And who knows what we'll find. It's all part of the adventure. Why don't you try now, Zale? See that bush right there? It's full of juicy berries. All you have to do is pick them. Like that? Perfect. Now we'll make some jam with the berries you picked. Just interact with the campfire and get ready to cook. It's fine. Like that. See, you're a natural. We can do the jam later when we need to heal up. Thanks for the tips, girl. It's going to come in handy for sure. Don't mention it. Hey, I'm ready for some sleep. Same here. And nothing but the stars above us. I'm loving this life already. Girl, I'm really glad you're here. <laughs> I was just about to say that. Me too, guys. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Well, good night then. Carl came to join the party! What do you mean it's illegal? Oh. I thought, like, you were saying that your phone going off in the background was illegal, and I'm like, wow, when did Twitch update their TOS? Ready to go? I'm excited to see what this Elder Miss looks like. Sure, let's keep hiking. Yay, there we go. Girls in the party. Take a minute before the next attack, because I just noticed Garl's freaking shield is a pot lid. It's not an actual shield, it's a pot lid. She's taking this warrior cook title a little too far. Hold on, I want to see what girl's idle animation is. Well, with the size of some of the creatures in this world, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, it is just backpack check? Okay. Don't you mean he winks? Can't 
can't really blink with one eye. I'm obsessed with Garl because I too am a big guy and, you know, everything like that, so, you know, it's it's nice to see big fat guy representation in JRPGs. Oh, hey! Chevrolet. Hurl is literally hurl. Okay. Yay, more to tomatoes. Oh, hey, yellow bell peppers. Cabbage. No. Uh. Kind of shit falling around me. Anything in particular? 
cauldron lid. It's a cauldron lid. Okay. Okay, so I'll just talk a little bit louder then. Fuck! You literally say that just because I say I'll talk louder. <laughs> got Zale, who's, you know, a blade dancer. She's got all this great soul firepower. Valir, who's all moon power. And then Garl, who has the power of bitch slap with a pot lid.
just had to check to make sure there wasn't any hidden doors or anything in the mist, because this is a JRPG, so you never freaking know. Let us... said time and time again, I do not like when things fall. Okay. Bitch. Bless you, Bobad. Thanks, Rick. What could this be? I don't know. watching the new episode of Ahsoka. Oh, oh, oh. oh, girl, what the... You were there and then... Okay. Oh, two children of the Solstice have come for their rite of passage. But I also sense one who does not belong here. Is he brave or foolish? Ooh, let's find out. Calling it now, he's now. Yep, called it, he's now. Welcome, young adventurers, to the sacred pond. Nice to meet you, Elder Mist. My name's Garl. Not careful there, Garl, you're gonna get yourself killed again. My, what a curious one you are. Enthusiasm is certainly welcome in this place of meditation. Its rights are not meant for the common folk. Children of the Solstice, step forward. <laughs> Seems you show great potential indeed. Have you weaved your will into celestial fabrics? We have, Elder Mist. Then come closer and let them be imbued by the sacred pawn's magic. Ooh, tremendous resonance. Wear them with purpose, for they will augment your innate magic. You shall henceforth have the light in the darkest places, and protection against the minions of the flesh, Mansell. I don't feel any different. Yeah, me neither. Whew, rest assured, the ability to use magic without magic has taken root in you indeed. Uh, okay. What does that even mean? Yeah, same, Zale, what does that even mean? And how does it work? It arises from need. And the many battles that await you, victory will often demand the use of more offensive magic. That one can sustain through spells alone. But 
is why attunement to live mana is paramount. Live mana. Ooh. It allows your attacks to draw from the great magic bestowed upon you at the Judging by the residents you create, this power should even extend to your traveling companions. <gasps> you are ready. Live mana will start manifesting for you the next time you enter a battle. Are you ready for your final test? Elder Mist, I'd like to go with them. Ooh. The Elder Mist trials have never been undertaken by anyone but aspiring solstice warriors. I want to go with them, please. Interesting. You are the first of the common folk to ever make such a request. He sure is a peculiar one. No doubt limited when it comes to combat, but the warmth of his heart. Could he bring it back? What's it? Perhaps we should try to find out. Alright, thanks, Elder Mist. Why is it every time the Elder Mist talks, it sounds like someone's farting in a room far away that you can hear through the walls? I won't fail. Yeah, that's what that is, Belbet. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. <laughs> wow, take a deep breath. Wrong thing to say after I just made the fart comparison. Big relics together by completing their associated challenges. The monsters that will try to stop you are immune to physical attacks, and the use of offensive spells is prohibited. What? How then? That is why you must use magic without using magic. Okay. Live magic can boost your battle actions with a portion of your magic attack. Embrace this power, and your training will be complete. Cool. I have to try that. Trials await. Should you wish to return for a while, simply close your eyes and concentrate to where you just appeared. Godspeed. Yeah, I'd say so! Holy shit! Three booster charges can be stacked, each adding a portion of your character's magic attack. Stats in the next action to increase its power. In case of regular attacks, the character's innate magic damage type, if they have one, is also added on top of their weapon's damage type. Whether you are done, So far we have the recipe for a basic salad, which appears to be tomatoes, lettuce, and the green or the yellow bell peppers, the tomato club. Uh, the 
another sandwich, which is just beef, beef and wheat. Herbed filet. Oh, I got a recipe for that earlier. I don't know how the hell to pronounce that. Chadri, Chadre. And berry jam. the train in the background, I'm sorry, we're like literally a block and a half away from train tracks.
got the Nighter Butters there, Bell Bell. Scramble. One very important solstice warrior duty is to destroy dwellers. We become vulnerable during which natural
Last chance prepared. Do you feel ready? Yeah. The young adventurers have finished the preparations. Ah, sweet ghost energy drink. Understand the power of live mana. Can you master it? We shall see. Use of spells is now allowed again. Oh, thank God. Holy shit! Face me, children of the solstice. I have no clue why he has an apple tower for him. Fuck you for healing. Yes, thank you, Velvet. That is cheating. Carl's just out here doing his best. Dude, not fair. Stop healing yourself.
Mirror, it's just him just reaching into his bag to grab an apple. Solstice Warriors. I knew it! You're the best! Ha! Ah, there it is. We did it! I've consulted the mists of time during your trial. When? You were kicking our asses! When you are ready to leave this place, find me back at the Sacred Pond and I will tell you of your respective prophecies. Then you will be sent out into the world. Don't take too long now. We're gonna save. And what's the rule of JRPG saving? Always save twice. Always be saving twice, yep. Good morning. The time has come to begin. It's morning? What the hell? It was day just a moment ago. Morning? But it's the middle of the night. Ah, oh, yes. I suppose your friend should address that. Address what? Bring us the dawn. We can do that? Whew. All it takes is for you to stand in on a celestial room. And then what? Something inside of you knows already. Right this way. Ooh, excuse me. Now concentrate and bring us the dawn. Where do you want to stand on celestial rooms to chase it? Ooh! How did you do that? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. The part is always easier by simply going for it. Now, in your travels, you will sometimes find mechanisms and seals powered by magical rooms that react to the time of day. They were put in place by solstice warriors who came before you. Some conceal artifacts meant to help future members of the Order, such as yourselves, while others seal away evils that were too powerful to confront. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not how physics work. I don't know to look for these artifacts and challenges will be entirely up to you. Now your journey can begin. Come and meet me beyond this chasm. Okay. We get across by using your powers, of course. Like I just said. Try using the crystal to charge the smaller rune on the ground above and see what happens. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Girl just pulled out an apple.
Ooh! Ever missed Island's Landing? That's a giant... Ooh, are you ready to be sent out into the world? I'll see you off then, but first, your prophecies. I will speak them to your minds directly, for they are yours and yours alone. Zale, step forward. In order to reach your full potential, you will first need to stare at the night inside of you. Thank you, Elder Mist. Valeria, approach. When the time comes, you will be the one to create paths on water! Understood. Gar- Oh, Garl gets one! You must be mindful of your limitations during this journey. You got it, Elder Mist. Garl, this is not a conversation. <laughs> oh, my bad. Carry on. Garl. The mists are unclear in your case, but it appears your heart might be warm enough to soothe a long-tormented soul. Okay, I'll do my best. You've now learned everything I could teach you. He is... Car I'm calling it now. Carl is best... Or Garl is best boy. He is best boy of this campaign, or this series. And we shall help you reach Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. Alright, to make this giant, give it the name Extol to be sent to Sleeper Island. Simply go to Extol and speak with this one's name, which is Extol. Cool. And the kids are crushed. Or the kids just get yeeted. What the fuck? No build up. No. Just straight gas. Yeah, because you fucking killed them. The G Force is alone in that. They're probably smears inside that orb. Yeah, it's Child Jam now! <laughs> oh, back to the Great Archives. And so it was that Zale and Valia were sent off to begin their journey with the best friend, the warrior cook in tow. In their quest to get to Wraith Island in time for the Eclipse, they would soon come to grips with two very powerful wizards. One by anger beset, the other of life bereft. Meanwhile, inside the orb... Ah! <laughs> oh yeah, with, no, with as hard as that got hit, too. No, they are not alive! No way! That was awesome! <laughs> well, this wasn't kidding. What a ride. Who knew the world was so big? <laughs> you could hear Belle Bet laughing her ass off in the background. So what now? Find a boat, I suppose. It's a ground level bed, and there's only one way we could go from here anyway. Now, see, the rest of this game is all in the afterlife, because, now nah, those kids are just smeared on the inside of that orb up there. Yeah. Probably Garl, because he's the one who's not, you know, a solstice warrior. I can just see it now. They get out of the orb and Garl's like, hold on a second. <sighs> I will admit, I kind of know where some of this stuff already is, because this is where the demo got placed, so I know where some of the stuff already is, so don't mind me for just a few moments. Solstice Mage Ring, and that is going on Valir.
sweet. No, I'm sorry, in a world of magic and everything, Garl's pot lid would not have been able to actually deflect that lightning. It would have brought it to him. Tightropes. Really hate tightropes. Wait a minute, hold on. Oh. Wow, the sprite changes for Garl and he it changes what eye he's missing. But other than that, we can look past that because this game is still phenomenal looking. Tattoos! Boil them, mash them, put them in a stew. And who are you? Hmm. Goodbye, Dimensional Rift Ninja! They should be done soon, Belbet. A little bit of trivia here. Uh, <laughs> Belbet is a bit of a gardener herself. Our kitchen is filled with daikon radishes, potatoes, a bunch of stuff. But she does look like you're, you know, refugee. What is under the ground? Ant Bruiser! Summon? Oh, you summoned another ant. Listen carefully, you can hear the sound of the metal toing toing every time Garl hits something. Another rule of RPGs scour every inch of a map. You never know. See? Tomatoes.
No, I started at... I started at 5. If I go to the 3-hour mark, I end at 8. you're counting the 15 minute prep time beforehand as well. The time has made this room indecipherable. for almost two hours, or three hours now. <laughs> Boom explosion. We're gonna go a little bit over, but...
explosion again. I cannot believe that is the name of that freaking ability. Get us back out there, okay. Oh my god, I didn't realize that until now. When Garl attacks and you're able to get it right to where it does double the attack, it's a smack with a pot lid and then he pulls out a frying pan for a second attack. Ladies and gentlemen, is where we are going to call it. So, right now, what we're going to do.
Yep, licked all that said. Thanks everyone for joining us. Yeah, I figured I was muffled again. I'm gonna have to mess with the audio when we go out in AFK and stuff like that. Yeah, I had fun. Hope everyone who joined us also had fun. My favorite part... Honestly, it was the uh, fight with the Elder Mist. That was actually kind of cool, even though it looked like he was beating us with the Eiffel Tower. So, now that we've got things taken care of... Of course you like the boss look. You have this weird thing about... Like... Bug monster things for like... Big bad guys. Well, other than that, I hope everyone else had a good night. Uh, we're going to be off for the next couple of nights, um, but then Wednesday we'll get Belvette's stream going on, and hopefully we can actually get it to work this time. Unlike last time, where she was having all the issues getting started with Ali Seven. Oh. <laughs> That's so much trouble. Alright, well then, Bunnos, this was Keldrick playing Sea of Stars. Probably gonna be playing it again next Sunday. So, I will see you all next time.